year-old girl died in that crash and a 15 year old boy is still in critical condition. Here is the camera that caught that surveillance video that we're about to show you and which has some of the victim's family members questioning the police response. A stolen white SUV goes speeding down Main Street in Worcester with five teenagers inside. Moments later, the SUV runs a red light and crashes into two other cars. It just sound like a big boom, honestly. You were inside? Yeah. At that point last Saturday night, neighbors came running outside and down the sidewalk toward the crash scene. Where were they positioned the cars? I saw the white one right here and then one at the pole. And then the little like one on the side over here. 12 seconds after the speeding SUV passes in front of the camera, a Worcester police cruiser appears in the distance with its lights flashing, but it turns around and goes in the opposite direction. They swore to protect and serve. That video doesn't tell me they serve in anybody. Here at the site of the crash, you can see skid marks on the sidewalk and broken glass on the ground. Where police stopped and made the U-turn is 570 feet that way. And here is the perspective of the officers. You can't see me as I'm on the sidewalk, but as I cross the street waving my arm, you can. There is a slight slope in the street and a slight curve between the crash site and the cruiser's U-turn location. Police say because the officers were inside their cruiser, they did not hear the crash. I don't know exactly how that happened, but I can guarantee they did not know about the accident. They would not have turned around. The police say that the officers did not learn about the crash until a dispatcher called them on the radio a few seconds later. On the surveillance video, you can see that two minutes after they made the U-turn, two cruisers come speeding back toward the crash site.